You should pull the fucking trigger. What up, guys? This is Abdul F, F, and R, E, R, E, F, F, and we are going to give you a demo of the cool setup that I have here going. I pretty much, uh, I'm using an iPad Pro as a, a second display for my MacBook, so I'll be able to work better, more efficiently, more productively, and that's what we're going to show you right now how cool it is. And we're using this program called Duet, D U E T, display, and uh, pretty much the. Uh, it's free on the Mac and it's free on the PC, but it's uh, 14.99 for now. For now, on the iPad, and the iPhone, and it's a pretty cool app. I think it's. Uh, I mean, it's considered one of the best apps of our time, so it's, it's pretty lit up. So check it out. That's my MacBook. You see, they are both playing the same thing. So that's an indication that we're using. It's pretty much linked together as a display. So they're the same, one the same. And now we're gonna go inside. Put our password. Hey guys, check it out. So here's my setup with my Spotify, and we are gonna show you right now what I mean. So, and it's linked by a regular a lightning port right here, and then it's linked right here. And this way you get like a very fast uh, data transfer. So it doesn't use the Wi-Fi like or Bluetooth, so that you don't have to depend on it. Uh, so that you don't have to depend on it in case you're mobile, you know, and you're, you're far from any kind of uh, Wi-Fi signal or, uh, and your other stuff that doesn't have or not working well. So, so let me just show you what I mean. So look, I'm grabbing this and I'm moving it here. So you guys can see it's like literally like half and half. Isn't that pretty cool? Alright. Here we go, right? Here we go again. The cool thing about it is that let's say I want to transfer my videos from here, from uh, this screen to the other, right? So what I do is from from this uh, uh, hard drive to this one, which is my micro SD. Actually, no, the vice versa. I'm, I'm transferring the uh, files from my micro SD that is here to my um, external hard drive, which is here. It's a post design uh, two terabyte. Zoom it in. That one. So usually I'll have to just keep doing this, which 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 works, but it, it uh, requires back and forth, which uh, kind of wastes time and kills time. So we want, so instead of what I do is I just grab, I just grab this window, and I put it here, and I literally go through them and see which one I I need and which one I don't, and then uh, with the ones that I find that I need to transfer, or I mean I need them to transfer everything anyways, but the ones that I uh, find and I play back and forth that when I should transfer knowing I mean I I'm able to go through everything without having to go back and forth on the screen with this thing like this thing this thing this thing this thing you know I don't have to use this, this button right here and uh, everything is just much more uh, efficient that way and it just uh, helps to have an extra screen to drop things down for display so like we say I'm gonna do this one uh, at the right now with you so let's say I wanna see what vlog this is right let's see this is vlog I think, it's, I think it's vlog 187 yeah oh no it's vlog 188 so what I do is I just blow that down and then I just I'll just go to vlog and put in my this is my external hard drive uh, window so I'll just put in I'll let me zoom, zoom in for you Vlog 188. Oh, then we'll do it. Vlog 188. And then after this is done, uh, pretty much um, I, I just go inside and I drop this here. There you go. And now I can literally just go ahead here and just transfer this there to here. As you can see, I'm transferring from here. Here you see it's moving and I'm transferring it here. See this took one second, right? Before I had to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. See so which video is which and then play uh, and then exit the screen, back to the screen. But this, this makes everything much easier and much more uh, efficient. And that's why we're trying to encourage you by just the fact that it's so much easier that way. And then let me tell you what it's on. It looks like a little mini iMac, I understand. I told, I told you. Just do part with that it was too. I'm, I'm using this thing called Lemmy Call. That's the brand. 
Let me just uh, zoom in for you so you guys can see. Call. Lamy Call. That's what I'm using. The Lamy Call uh, stands for the iPad Pro uh, 4.9. This is a 4.9 screen. And um, yeah, that's about it. And it's cool. It looks like a, like a little iPad. So if you really want, you can use that with the with the keyboard, with the wireless keyboard from from Mac or any company. And just uh, treat it like a like a little uh, I, uh, iMac. So which is pretty cool. So and then if you ever want to uh, grab your iPad, all you do is you just press the home button and you're out. So it's not like it doesn't really require you to go through anything. And then if you want to back the same screen, so it's an app. You know what I mean? It's kind of cool. Uh, here, as, as you can see, you can do everything here too. Just like the Mac. Kind of cool. It's a dual display, pretty much, and uh, just works pretty well for me and for everyone else. Hey guys, and that's about it. It's not the S, uh, RA Gold, and Pony R. And uh, this, this was a demo of how to use an iPad Pro as a second screen with your iPad with your Mac Pro. So this way you'll be able to um, have two screens while you're mobile. And it's really great for programmers, for web designers, for many people that want to use, that want to have a, a different display to see a second window that is open. And it makes everything much more efficient, more, more practical, and definitely more productive. Thank you for watching. This is Ari, and I'm out. About. Peace. Out. That's a wrap.